Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. I am feeling strong and well. Thanks for asking. Um, beautiful day today. It's got to be one of the hottest days of the year so far. In West Yorkshire here, we might get up to 25 degrees. Will it get that far? But uh, it's already nice and warm. Had to take the jacket off. Um, in today's vlog, it's just a quick one. I'm just exploring this area. I'm looking for a place called Bellman's Castle. So it's gonna be a nice leisurely walk in the sunshine. I think I've come across this spot before, this Bellman's Castle. I didn't know what it was, didn't know what it was called. And I think it's somewhere up on the moors, right on top there. Uh, so that's where we're heading. I think I came across it one time I was following wildlife and I came across this sort of a, a ruin. But I've looked through the binoculars, brought the trusty binoculars with me and um, yeah, I can't spot it. So it could be, it could be a bit of uh, wandering around before I find it. But it's a beautiful day to actually do that. We've got a massive buzzard circling above and it is huge. I can't bring you any footage of that because we're on the little action for camera. I do miss the long lens times when you see uh, birds like that in the sky and uh, a bit of wildlife. But I tell you what I don't miss, I don't miss carrying all that gear around. So if you're local, you're gonna know exactly where I am. I'm on Meltham Moor. Meltham Moor up there, we are heading on up. So if you're coming over to West Yorkshire, it's worth an explore, Meltham Moor. But uh, do it at this time of year when it's nice and sunny. I've camped out up there in uh, bleak conditions. It really is bleak up there when you're out of the season. Like uh, I've camped out there in uh, autumn and uh, early spring and it's freezing cold uh, very bleak you might be able to hear some of the guns going off in the background as i'm talking uh, i think there's some grouse shooting going on good afternoon <laughs> i've just had a sleep on this rock here it's a couple of hours since i last spoke to you i've been looking around for the uh the castle it's not actually a castle it's a ruin and it's only small if I'm right in what I'm thinking, I've seen it before, just didn't know what it was. It's round here somewhere, but I think it's further over here. Uh, there's been a lot of shooting, a lot of grouse shooting going on uh, today, and I've been waiting for it to finish. It might have finished now, so I'm gonna risk getting a little bit closer. But, great vantage point here. If you look down there, there's been deer running around down there and grazing. I've been watching them for the last couple hours and like I say, I nodded off, had a little sleep on this uh, rock here. It's nice and warm. So I'm gonna head on over this way. I've got a great view from up here. It makes me uh, think about wild camping again. I'm actually looking for a little spot here. <laughs> I might just get them tents out again. I've still got uh, two small tents and I've still got my uh, Rab uh, Ridge Raider, is it called? Rab Ridge Raider, the bivy bag. Still got that, so mm, maybe I knew I might do it again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them days. Yeah, it'd be lovely just to pitch up here and just stay here for the, for the night. I think, I think a wild camp is, uh, is on the cards. It'd be great to see the deer down at the bottom there as I was watching them. I enjoyed my little sleep. Great day. I tell you what, this is heavy going. I'm off the track, off piste, uh, just finding deer tracks to walk over. It's, it's deep heather and it is heavy going. It might be up, it's in a place like this where there's, <laughs> there's lots of rocks and stuff. Um, I'm hoping I find it, but I'm, 
I'm beginning to doubt it. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying the walk anyway. I'm gonna have a little look around here, but it's so difficult underfoot to, uh, to move at any speed. So let's have a look around these little rocks here. They're not that little. They're quite a distance off yet, but uh, yeah, we'll have a look around here, see if I can find it. Yes, I made it. This is the entrance. It's quite small. And the uh, story goes, 1500 years ago, roughly, uh, this was supposed to be the dwelling of a pagan god called Baal. But that's not the actual truth. I'm gonna show you around and uh, tell you what it actually is. Now, in reality, this is the ruin of an 18th century banqueting lodge sort of thing it was uh, Richard Bowman of nearby Whitley Bowman and uh, he had a banqueting house built here for him and his friends uh, so imagine dining here with a view like this and uh, in the back there's a bit of a cave where I guess they would have stored things there's a window this banqueting house featured a massive stone table you can see the remains of it there on the floor how flat it is on top and up to 20 guests could gather for a feast so it's no wonder it sparked the imagination of those who encountered it so it's had lots of stories attached to it over the years here's a photograph from the 1920s and you can see there's a little bit more to it but uh, it was still pretty well worn even then so that is it i hope you've enjoyed it searching for bellman's castle we found it i'm absolutely exhausted gonna have a bit of a drink on my way back down um nice little walk we've had the uh, sounds of the shooting range and I enjoyed looking at the deer. I'm sorry I couldn't bring that to you. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, consider subscribing, I upload vlogs pretty regular. And uh, I don't know where I'll be next time, but what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.